is this? Because this is really, York, really confusing. York. Alright. York's okay. got like a lisp. Alright. I have the Philly accent. <laughs> Alright, go on. Uh, Steve Schreiner and Matt were in a band called At, At, At Our Best that I actually tried on bass for. And then that didn't work out. So, so we, didn't, we didn't like you. You were yeah, cool enough. They hated me. So um, I actually ran into Steve at Warp Tour in July, it was. That yeah, was it July. Was. Yeah, and I, I saw you at Bamboozle. And I saw and I saw my Bamboozle, and we started talking again. And, and then I guess in the end of August, I started a band out with this kid Dave Fink. And I was still talking to Steve at Steve at the time, and I was like, "Why don't we have a super jam?" So he brought Matt over. And I brought Fink over, and that's how we started. <laughs> Pretty interesting. It's not some huge crazy story. Uh, it's just we're recording this, by the way. We'll send it to you when we're done. All right, sounds good. All right, so how like was the first show you guys played together really awkward, or did it kind of go together smooth? Um. Actually, even from the first practice, we really, we really clicked, you know. Yeah. So but I mean, we, we've never really had a problem. Really hasn't been awkward, really. I guess everything's been kind of smooth since uh, day since day one. Just a couple of member changes. That's about it. Just a few member changes, but e but even that, it was just very quick and painless. Alright, so how would you guys say, like, the band has grown since you first started out? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, I didn't think things were going to get this, like, things were going to blow up this big so fast. Yeah, I thought it, would, it was going to take us a lot more time than this. Um, we just recently got a management deal with Truth, Truth Management. Uh, we have a label that we're talking to, as of now. Um... The, our, basically our emails blowing up. We get a ton of emails every single day from different bands and management companies and booking companies and clothing companies and all this stuff wanting to do work with, with us. Um, our first song, Broken Limits, we actually did was recorded. It's actually there, there's an older ver version of it out there, and that was recorded back in October. Was it really that far? It is that far away, right? and that helped us out a, a little bit. We got some popular off of that, but then we did our EP did, in January. That we was we did the paint shoot that day too. Yeah, we did the paint shoot. But uh, our EP that we did in January with Brooks pa Pascal was a uh, was definitely something that helps out a lot. <laughs> What'd you say that you guys had that really set you apart from other bands? We're fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what I would have to say, looking at all the other bands, we're really dedicated in what we do. So, not just the music aspect of everything, we're also in the marketing and promoting. So, like, we're all, we, all, we split everything up, marketing on, like, promoting on Twitter and Facebook and social networking is huge. Right. I mean, and not a lot of not a lot of decent bands and good bands get out there because they don't social network. And we're fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you add that in there. I, I got that. That's the first thing I wrote down from you. All right, cool. <laughs> you said Steve, you were, we're fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Sofa King, good. <laughs> Alright, so what would you say are some of your biggest influences? Um, well, we all have different ones, but mine are definitely bands like Blink, Blink-182, Green Day, Starting Line. Newfound Glory. Newfound, New, Newfound Glory is definitely up there. 
You, Steve? Not me, just, I mean, basically the same as you, it's just like, I, a lot of my influences that got me into music was like All Time Low and all the newer pop punk bands, Cutie's What We Aim For, stuff like that, Boys Like Girls. We love pop punk music. Wait, did you say Boys Like Girls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty depressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not what they used to be, but... See, this was... When I when I used to really listen to all those bands, that was back in, like, 2006 at Warped Tour. Mm -hmm. That's when I, uh... Because I used to listen to a lot of, like, classic rock, and the girl I was dating at the time was, like, a huge fan of, like, pop punk and stuff. So yeah. she really, like, pulled me there. Yeah. And I grew... I guess I grew to love it. Like, I, when I saw All Time Low play, I just, like, knew that that's what I wanted to do, you know? Yeah. I was like, shit, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> we like... Taylor Swift too. Oh shit! <laughs> I, think I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to marry her one day. One of us is gonna marry her. All of my friends are the same thing. So good luck with that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a race. <laughs> it's okay. They're only like sixteen and seventeen. I think that's their chance. She's just so sexy. It's fucking hot. Fucking smells good. Hey, so how was the general reception in your guys' eyes it's been to like the brighter side? Have you seen pretty good reception or what? We've seen nothing but awesome feedback on it. Um we we knew going with Brooks it was definitely a smart move and we would get somewhere with it, but I don't know if we thought that it would come this far. This far, yeah. And it's only been out since March, March first, so nothing but solid feedback. It's actually been leaked on a couple sites too, which we don't need to include. That. I don't even know how that got there, but that is all over. <laughs> Oh, just because you're so kick-ass and shit. Right, they're fucking awesome. <laughs> just like I said. <laughs> so what are your plans as far as touring goes? July 7th we leave. Well, that's the first day. That's the first day. First day tour with The Running List and To Sleep To Dream. Start in Sarasota, Florida. Come all the way up to Boston. And then... The running list will leave us in Boston, and we join another tour with To Sleep to Dream, La Bella Charade, and Last Night's Vice, which goes from July 24th to August... Oh, no, it's like that. Yeah. The 12th to the 13th of August. That goes all the way out to Missouri and stuff. And then after that, we'll probably come back for about a month or so. We'll do some local shows and hopefully head back out on the road. Masturbate for a little bit. Yeah. Do that for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to do that, though. So it's all right. At least four or five times. Well, it's going to be weird day. if you're in a van with a bunch of dudes, you know? <laughs> Definitely. Like, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me, no! <laughs> you get mad? Don't look at me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what would you say is the craziest thing that's happened to you as a band? Alright, we have these people from Brazil who are in love with our music. Uh, their names are Alice and Victoria, and they recently sent us a care package, and it had all this crazy Brazilian stuff in it, and they sent me a stuffed monkey. <laughs> so we in turn sent them a bunch of American items back in stuff. You know, flyers, stuff, Philly stuff, you know, that's how we do. Yeah, we like to take, we like to take care of our fans. But we're actually waiting for a box of mustaches. Yeah, they're sending us a box of mus mustaches. You gotta include how customs came to your house and everything. Yeah, and the United States Customs actually came to my house because they thought, I guess there was drugs in it, in the package, I don't know, but I wasn't home, my dad was there, and it was a whole big thing, and thought I was running, like a... A drug ring. <laughs> it's part of the Brazilian drug, drug ring. Cartel. Whatever. 
right, well, thank you for everything. Is there anything else you'd like to add? You're the fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, how soon is this going to be up? Uh, shit. Probably as soon as I can get it up. Do you cool. want Do you want this audio recording? Yeah, uh, and do you want this? Send it over. All right, uh, do you have an email? Yeah, I've got one. Are you going to masturbate to it? <laughs> uh, maybe. Probably a couple times before I put it up. Save this, yes. because this could be like... Something good to have, like a couple years from now. Be the best now. porno. Ever. You could sell this like fifteen years from now when we're on tour with like uh, Motley Crue or something. Oh shit! Fuck Motley Crue! Don't don't do that. That's a pretty bad tour. <laughs> Try to stay away from them. <laughs> but yeah, if you just uh, send us your email or something over. I think you can send it on Skype. You drag it into the box. Alright, let's see what I can do. Just stop on that, man. Uh, let me see if I can send. I can't